Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I want to talk about the describe functions which is present in the uh, psych and hims hmisc package so which helps us describing the data uh, in a much better way as compared to the traditional functions like summary and all or str function that we need to get to see the structure of data so for example uh, we have a data set called empty cars empty um, cars and it has this data which is the car type car name and its different properties so here uh, if you want to know the summary of data then we write summary and empty cars and it gives us the information with each variable and uh, minimum maximum first quartile median mode and all of this thing right and uh, if you want to get the value for a particular variable let's say empty cars dollar mpg then it gives us the uh, result back with a similar sort of information but uh, many times uh, we want to further describe the data to see much more other properties like skewness kurtosis or mean absolute deviations and other things so if you are of that appetite where you need more and more statistics and even want to further uh, get these statistics let's say for you want to get the statistics of mpg by cyl or by cylinders or by automatic or manual cars and that's how you want to see the comparison of statistics that's where these functions really comes into the picture so the package which i was talking about is first is hmisc that is Harold miscellaneous package and the another one is psych so both has describe functions but the only catch is that in psych it works on the numeric data numerical data and in case of uh, the Harold's package hmi Harold's miscellaneous package it helps us describing the categorical data so let's first do the hmisc and uh, so we have attached this package now i can use the describe function and let's say i want to describe cylinder and uh, so i will write empty cards dollar cyl and if you see as compared to what it is written over there here it is much more meaningful that how many observations are there or how many missings how many are uniques info and finally the mean apart from that it also shows that for each cylinder cylinder 4 cylinder 6 and cylinder 8 what is their distribution in the data so that means 34 percent is related to the cylinder 4 22 percent observations are related to cylinder 6 and 44 percent is related to 8 so that is a i feel that's a much better way of describing the data as compared to this mean or median which does not make any sense for a categorical data so similarly we have psych package so if i uncheck this to detach and if i go so i psych so that is uh, procedures for psychological psychometric and personality research so that's the package i'm using and it also has a describe function but it works on the numerical data so for example we have empty cards dollar mpg so if i get it uh, and, and get the value for this then it shows me the different observation not just mean standard deviation mean but trimmed mean absolute deviation range skewness kurtosis and standard error which is if, if i go by traditional summary summary function empty cars for mpg and compare it then what we get is a very very basic information and so if our appetite is big then we need to use the describe function of site package well let's talk about uh, the analysis at a next level so for example you want the mpg uh, you want to describe the mpg data using this but you want to describe it by the cylinder or let's say by automatic or manual car type so here in this case the function that we have in this site is describe by so first we need to specify the value which we want to describe so in this case empty cards dollar mpg and then we want to group it by 
let's say AM, which is automatic manual car type here in this case, this one. If I hit enter, so it is not found because we have specified the data set name. Now, if you see this result, the first result, this particular one which I'm highlighting, is for a manual car and this one is for automatic car and it is saying that it's a similar kind of analysis but by your automatic or manual car. So that's the kind of uh, uh, you know, further flexibility you can get which is not possible by a traditional summary function. So uh, apart from this if you have if you want to describe the entire data like here in this case uh, we have the summary function and we have specified the data set name which is giving us the summary for our entire data set. Then we have the describe data function which is asking uh, which is asking us the data set name and data set name is empty cars. So if I enter this it shows us the uh, information for each of the variable and it's a uh, its position in the data set the number of observation and you know its other properties so apart from this it also shows the number of observation how many complete cases and number of variables and all of those kind of things so this is how you can use the describe describe by uh, function on the categorical and numerical data so if you have numerical data use the psych function and if you have categorical data then you need to use the uh, the Harold's miscellaneous package, which is HMISC.